we are going to delve into instructions on how we can install node version manager on our mac os ventura now if you haven't already you will need to first and foremost install brew on your machine so if you haven't already done that you can click on the link in the description below which will give you instructions uh, on how you can install brew uh, so you can click on there and you can go ahead and install brew if needs be the first thing we're going to do before we uh, go ahead and install um, node version manager is we're going to go ahead and do a quick cleanup of uh, any remnants and or any files that we have already on our machine so we're going to go ahead and type in brew uninstall uh, ignore dependencies node and then uh, we're going to run brew uninstall uh, force node. Uh, maybe it will help if I spell force correctly. Okay. The other thing we're going to do as well, uh, which is um, which is something we do as part of the steps, is we do create a, a, an NVM directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also remove um, that MVM directory just in case there's remnants of any previous versions of Node.js on this machine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type that as well. So sudo rm hyphen rf space uh, dollar nvm underscore dir. Uh, and that should clean up any remnants of any previous versions of NVM on our machine. Um, and then we're ready to kind of go ahead and install the node version manager on our machine so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do an update uh, a brew update or run the brew update command sorry and that will update brew's repository uh, just in case it's outdated so we've we're already up to date which is good uh, the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to type in brew install nvm which is the package obviously which we're interested in and which is the package which we want to excuse me run on our machine um, so the first thing we're going to do once we've done that is we're going to go ahead and create a directory in my current directory uh, which is my user forward slash my um, username uh, i'm going to go ahead and create a folder as i mentioned called nvm so you need to type in mkr space tilde forward slash dot nvm and that will go ahead and create an nvm folder within our um, user directory the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use the vim um, text editor tool uh, to then uh, create and or amend uh, the zshrc file and this will allow us to um, configure the required environment variable variables uh, for us to be able to kind of run nvm uh, and and the commands so the first thing i'm going to do is yes so type in sudo vim and then space and then we need to do tilde um, forward slash dot zshrc now if you're using previous versions of Mac OS uh, and you're not using uh, Ventura, then that might be um, tilde forward slash dot bash underscore profile. But for us, this is sudo vim space tilde forward slash dot zshrc. So go ahead and click return. Um, and as you can see, I've already got from um, a previous kind of run of installing this, the two commands we require. So the first one you need to type in is export space nvm underscore dir equals tilde forward slash dot nvm and then the second command you need inside of this file is source space dollar um, open bracket brew space hyphen hyphen prefix space nvm and then closing bracket and then forward slash nvm dot sh once you've copied those in and or added those two commands into that file uh, what you need to do is you need to click hit escape um, or you'll have to type i sorry in order for you to be able to even write into the file in the first place uh, which is which will allow you to, to kind of type in there once you've typed your um, two commands you then um, click on esc or escape and then you do colon wq to write to the file and that will go ahead and write to that file and if you want to just go and see what's in that file uh, you can just read into it by doing a cat command so cat space um, pipe dot uh, forward slash sorry pipe forward slash dot z s uh, h r c and if you hit return you can see those two commands that we've written earlier are in there uh, so the next thing we're going to do now that we've added those two environment variables that are required um, you would need to uh, 
restart terminal because if you don't then the next couple of commands you might run into issues in trying to run them so i'm just going to go ahead and quit terminal and then i'm going to go ahead and 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 launch it again so I'm, I'm doing a spotlight search by hitting command and space bar on my mac and then i can type in terminal uh, and then it's going to bring me the terminal up and then now that we have our terminal uh, kind of restarted uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to use an nvm command now now that we've got this package installed if you want to double confirm the other way of confirming your packages if you do brew list um sorry i accidentally pressed a uh, open bracket um but yeah you can see nvm is, is in the list of packages we have on our machine um so yeah so we could then type in uh, nvm and we can do install and then we can do for example if you wanted 18 point 17 point one which is the latest version at this current time of making this video if you go ahead and hit return it will then go and download uh, and install on our machine the version 18.17.1 uh, now uh, i do switch between projects and sometimes some projects are dependent on uh, for example a particular version of node which is the exact reason why we're installing node version manager so for example i sometimes work with um uh, gulp but i might be working on a sharepoint web part for example and that might be dependent on a version of node such as you know 13 so if we went ahead and uh, installed nvm install 13.7.0 and then um we can then have that version also installed on, on my machine now that obviously that might be different for you that might be a completely different version of node um uh, but for me i i know i need 13.7.0 on a different um a project that i work on so the way we can then see the list of installed versions on our mac is we can do an nvm list command and then that will tell us the two versions we have so as you can see we've got 13.7.0 and we've got 18.17.1 so if we wanted to switch between so this arrow indicates that we're currently using version 13 and that's probably because that's the last one we installed so we're going to do an nvm use and then we're going to say 18 and because we've only got one version of 18 installed on our machine we can just do nvm use 18 if we had a couple of versions of 18 uh, of, of version 18 on our machine then we'd have to be specific and we'd have to say nvm use 18.17.1 But because i only have as i mentioned one version of version 18 on my machine i'm just going to do an nvm use 18 hit return and as you can see now it's telling me that i am now using nvm version 18 dot 17 dot one uh, which has an npm version node package manager version of version 9.6.7 and that's how you can install nvm on your machine using brew package manager on macOS ventura um, if you have any questions do let us know but please don't forget to like subscribe uh, and comment on the video if you have any questions thanks for watching again uh, see you next time